Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of negative x is equal to 6. Um, the first step is this, 3 to the power of x plus 1 over 3 to the power of x equal to 6. To eliminate this negative, I'm going to have 1 over everything. And then from here, we can now multiply everything by the LCM, which is 3 to the power of x. So we have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x, then plus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over 3 to the power of x and is equal to 3 multiplied by sorry 3 to the power of x multiplied by 6 okay so if i take a step further here i will pick 3 and then add the powers so i have 2x and then plus this will cancel this and i have 1 here which is equal to on this side i'm going to have 6 multiply by 3 to the power of x. They are still the same thing. Now, what I will do next is to rearrange this. So I have 3 to the power of 2x. Um, if this comes here, it becomes minus 6 into 3 to the power of x. Then I have plus 1 equal to 0. But remember that I can still work on this, so I have 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. Because I'm having 3 to the power of x in this place, I want to have it here. Now, minus 6 into bracket 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 0. Now, let y be equal to 3 to the power of x. So anyway, we have 3 to the power of x, we are going to write y. So here now, we'll be having y squared, minus here, we're going to have 6y, then plus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation that we can solve using formula method. And the formula method for this will be y equal to negative b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then you should understand that a is the coefficient of y squared. Okay, let me bring it out. a is equal to 1, coefficient of y squared. b is equal to minus 6, coefficient of y and then c is equal to 1. That is the constant. And then from here, you substitute directly into the formula. So that y becomes negative, negative 6. Because we have negative b there, and b itself is negative 6. Then we have positive or negative, square root of negative 6 squared, minus 4, times 1 times 1 because a is 1 and c is also 1. The whole of this will be divided by 2 times 1. Okay, now taking a step further, we're going to have y to be equal to 6 positive or negative. Okay, so we have um, square root of minus, sorry, minus 6 squared will give us 36, then minus 4. This will be over 2, okay? So here y becomes 6, positive or negative, square root of 32. This will be over 2. And now I want to get the square root of 32. So y is equal to 6, positive or negative, square root of 32 is 5, point six six approximately divided by two okay 
and then this means that y is equal to 6 plus 5.66 all over 2 or it is equal to 6 minus 5 okay 6 minus 5.66 all over 2 okay so this is what we have and then if you add this up you have y okay let me just shift this up if you add this up then you will have y to be equal to 11.56 11.66 over 2 okay or we have 0 0.34 over 2 okay so and um, if I continue from there I'll have y to be equal to 11.66 divided by 2 will give us 5.83 or on this side we are going to have 0 0.17 so these are the two values of y, right? But remember that y here is equal to 3 to the power of x, and this is now equal to 5.83. So what should I do? Let me work on this side first. So from here, to get the value of x, we will um, take the log of both sides. So we have log 3 to the power of x equal to log 5.83 now take the power to the back and we have x log um, 3 to be equal to log log um, 5.83 and then i can divide both sides by log 3 so that x will be alone, divide this by log um, 3. Now this will cancel this. And when it does that, we have that x is equal to um, 1.6. In fact, this is an approximated value. So x is equal to 1.6. But remember that from the other side, we can still find the value of x because we have y to be equal to 0 0.17 and y is the same 3 to the power of x which will now be 0 0.17 take the log of both sides like we did and this is equal to log 0 0.17 okay now take the power behind as we have x log 3 equal to log 0 0.17 divide both sides by log 3 divide this by log on 3 this will cancel this and x will be approximately equal to log 0 0.17 divided by log 3 will give us negative 1.6 okay so what are we now saying we are saying that um okay so the values of x we have x1 to be equal to 1.6 and then x2 is equal to negative 1.6 so these two values will satisfy the given equation